Hello everyone and welcome to this video guys. This is Mr. Nike, your HR Insider. Finally guys, Google has opened for four position in India that is mainly for the apprenticeship program. They have opened for data analytics, project management, digital business marketing and software application development. So in this video, I'll be telling you briefly about the eligibility criteria, what all projects you have to include. I will, I will also show you how to make those projects. Then I'll cover about resume and JD match, test what you have to read and what you have to do and the interview rounds, how you have to approach for the interview rounds and at the last, what are the benefits joining in Google apprenticeship program. There are benefits like you will be getting converted to full time also. So without any delay guys, let's directly hop over to eligibility. Before that you can see over here that I had got a quantity from Google last year that Google had sent me an online challenge and due to some reason I was not able to go ahead because there were other reasons anyways this thing i'll be discussing in some other video so let me hop over to the eligibility criteria okay first thing first you can see over here google apprenticeship program 26 these are the basic eligibility you should have must not have been any government apprenticeship before for example you should have been any apprenticeship before in any government organization because pm prime minister of india has given a lot of opportunities right for example you might have done apprenticeship in NTPCIL or big PSU in government of India sector, then you are not eligible for this. Then Aadhaar link to be activated with a personal mobile number. Lot of students have linked their mobile number initially with their parents number. So make sure that before you apply, make sure that you link your personal mobile number with your Aadhaar card. Then you should be having a bachelor's degree or equivalent to practical experiences required. Okay, but in India, it's mandatory to have a bachelor's degree. Then you should have less than one year of experience into data analytics experience. Guys, this video I'm mainly making for data analytics also, but the criteria and other things remain the same. If you want me to make video related to other things, also like project management, digital business marketing, software application development, how to approach, then please let me know. I'll make video on that also. Okay, coming back to the topic. You should be familiar with Google Workspace tools. That means like Gmail, Google Sheets, Google Docs, etc. You should be familiar with these things. Okay. They should be very fluent in English. That is more important for communication. Preferred skills. This is for again for data analytics, a skill, knowledge, problem solving skills, and interest in data. Okay. Again, this is a hybrid role. This is mainly a pan-India role. You you, you will be in any of this location, okay? Maybe in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Mumbai, or in Gurga. The duration is for 18 to 20 weeks, okay? Once you complete, you'll be getting a certificate and you can see over here, you can apply for a full-time Google role in last three months. So when you're, when you're coming near to conclusion, your apprenticeship, at that time, you can apply for the full-time opportunity, guys. Okay, just quickly briefing you about what exactly the positions are open over here. These are the four positions which are open Google Apprenticeship for Data Analytics. Then we have Project Management, Digital Business Marketing, and Software Application Development. As a whole, this thing I will include in private link in the description box and you can access from there also. Okay. I'm going to the very important topic that is resume. Is resume is very important. First pointer in the resume, I'll tell you if you're applying for the Google, always make sure that you use Google product to make your resume. So here to make a resume, I have used Google Docs to make the resume. This is how you make as a fresher. Okay, resume, put your, your name, you put your email and your contact number. And these are very important guys. Anyways, if you want a proper, proper dedicated video only about a resume, for that that also i'll make it okay just let me know in the comment section here i'll only discuss about the project over here you can see these are the two major projects which i have done okay one is market analytics and business insights and another one is sales forecasting and predictive analytics project okay uh coming to the shorter point how did i do this project okay so what you have to do is go to youtube and search for this guy rishabh Pasha. And he has the seven videos over here. You can quickly go through these videos and learn about how to make a project. He has quickly explained everything, guys. He is the best guy for data analytics. Go here, here learn about the project, how to make it, and start making a project. A project is very important, okay? Now, coming to a Google Apprenticeship Data Analytics um, a JD. So you can see over here, these are the key aspects of the JD of our Google Data Analytics. So the question is, a lot of people say, sir, I have made a resume, but my uh, resume didn't get shortlisted and I didn't get this online test. But again, the point lies is, how did you make your resume? Was it aligned to the JD what Google has given? A lot of people miss out that. So how to approach this situation, guys? Number one thing, go into the JD read the jd first guys you can see over here this jd is for google data apprenticeship so what i do is to quickly to you know align jd pointers into my resume what i do is i just copy this over here i copy this whole uh sorry my bad 
I copy this whole JD and I go to my friend chat JPT. Okay. First, let me copy this JD. Okay. This is the JD over here. Okay. And then in the notepad, I have written this thing. This is a prompt to what you have to put. Okay. So here is first I'll do this. Okay. The prompt says, I'm applying for Google Data Analytics Apprenticeship. Below is the JD for the role. Here are my resume, include project roles and responsibility. And now let me include my resume project. Over here, let me include the project. Resume. Okay. And then let me tell the chat GPT what you're supposed to do. So what I'm telling chat GPT is please analyze my resume and this is how well my experience of project passed the JD. Highlight areas where I can improve alignment and says better wording for my project and responsibility to match the job requirements. So let me put over, over here. And chat GPT will quickly give you the results. And we can see over here. It has given the results. Okay, this is how you can write. So what you do is you take out this rules and responsibility and put it over here and bang, right? Whole rules and responsibility done. Okay, in resumes also, there are other few things also which you have to take care of is, you know, looking into the skill set. Those are very important guys. For example, what are the top five skills which are required for data analytics? One is communication, SQL, yes, Python. Decision making is very important because after the data, you're supposed to make decision. And another one is data management. These are the basic things. And apart from that, what are your interest lies? What is the issue? And these are also coursework are very important guys. If, for example, if you don't have background from CSIT and you know from some mechanical background or a BCom graduate, then this becomes very important in your resume. This carries a very big weightage, guys, when you're applying for a role like Google Apprenticeship Program. Okay, so till now we have discussed about resume, how to match with JD. We have talked about project. What I told you is go to this guy and learn about the project. Now coming back to the very important topic, and that is the interview process. How the interview process starts for Google Apprenticeship Program. This is common for all the four roles, guys. So initially, what will happen is once you apply for once you apply for the Google Apprenticeship Program, what you can do is Google directly go to the link what I have given and apply for the apprenticeship program. Then once your resume is shortlisted through ATS, then you'll get this link, you know, to uh, appear for the online test. Once you're done with that, for example, if you clear the online test, then a HR person will be giving you a call, a short call to discuss about your how verbally good fit you are, your basic communication skills, and are you ready to take up the technical rounds and things. You will do a basic screening of your profile. And once that is done, then he'll put you in a technical interview. So in technical interview, basically mainly they will look into your technical skill set, guys. For example, if you're applying for data analytics, they will mainly look into how good you are at SQL, how good you are at Python, how good you are at problem solving and other things, how good you are at data management and a lot of other things. Mainly, mainly they will be looking into your uh, technical skill set. And this will go up to 30 to 45 minutes based, based on the scenario and practices. Okay, and next comes your behavioral and soft skill interview. Okay, this might happen with your technical round or you might get another round. Okay, after once you complete your technical round, then you will go into behavioral round. Okay, behavioral round is more about how you can collaborate with Googlers, how good you are in communication skills, how good you are in problem solving and in team environment. For example, the question may be, tell me about the time you solved a problem with data. How do you handle incomplete data? Describe a situation where you worked in a team to achieve a goal. These are the basic questions which you can refer and these questions I have been discussing in my previous videos guys go and check out those videos and you will let you know how you can approach the situation okay and now you must be thinking that i have discussed most of the topic but you didn't tell me how to approach the test guys don't worry i'll exactly tell you how to approach the test because last year i applied for the test and it really went well guys so you can see over here how to approach for the test and overall portion will be there in the test okay first thing is pattern and successions uh, this you can learn from Khan Academy, guys. All these test things, okay. All these things, pattern sequences, analogy and relationship, logical puzzling, everything you can learn from Khan Academy. What you have to do is just see this topic, for example, alphabet patterns, alphabet patterns by Khan Academy. Search it on YouTube and you'll get it, okay. That's how you approach, okay. Again, coming back to the topics, okay. Topics are pattern and sequences, okay. Number patterns, like you know, this looks like a two table, like two, four, eight, six, you know, what will the next number? Alphabet, like for example, the A, C, F, what will be the next letter? There are mixed sequences, the analogy and relationship. For example, your father has so and so, then how he is related to your mother, like right? those questions, logicals, uh, sitting arrangement, age puzzles, coding and decoding, true or false, nor or, nor or neither statement. So, okay, these are a few puzzling questions you will be getting for the test. And all these things you can practice from 
Khan Academy or R.S. Agarwal book, guys. Everything is there in this R.S. Agarwal book. Or you can go to Khan Academy and directly practice over you. And that is there. Okay. That's how you approach for the test. Okay. Now talking about the benefits of getting into Google Apprenticeship Program. A lot of people must be saying that, oh, it's just the apprenticeship. No, guys. It's a very big opportunity to get into Google as a full-timer. Okay. What happens is when you join his apprenticeship, you build a trust. And once you build a trust and one people know that, oh, this guy is very exceptional, good, yeah, we should convert him into full-time. So you will have the opportunity to, to get converted to full-time. You will be learning and working with Googlers. You will be working in a real-time project, which you can see and uh, people are actually using that things, okay? And there will be a lot of other things, like apart from full-time conversion, a lot of perks, a lot of benefits, a lot of uh, personal branding, I can say. So there are tons and a lot of opportunity once you join Google. Okay, this was the video about uh, Google Apprenticeship Program 2026, guys. Again, if you need any help, please, please let me know on the Instagram. Just ping me. I am ready to help you out. And again, guys, the last day to apply for this Apprenticeship Program is 14th September 2025. So make sure that you apply as soon as possible. Apart from that, if you are if you are not a candidate of Google Data uh, Analytics Apprenticeship and you're a candidate of Project Management or Digital Business Marketing or Software Application Development, then please let me know in the comment section. I'll make a video on that also. How to make a resume, how to make uh, align resume with the JD, how to make projects for that and what all skill set you have to mention. Till then, thank you so much, guys. And if you need any help, any assistance, please, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm an HR person and definitely, definitely will help you out in any of the situation. You're just ping me on Instagram or there is a Google form link given in the description box below. You can get in directly in touch with me and we can discuss more in depth about these things and how to take up this challenge and how to grab this opportunity. Thank you so much. Bye.